So does this location, this farm, does it pass for an ideal broiler farm? I mean, looking at the details that we have, the houses, we have three main houses and we have the processing place, but does it pass for an ideal broiler farm? Is everything inside what should be there? Come with me and let's discover together if this is an ideal broiler farm. So next we are going to check the spacing between the houses like from this house here to this one over here so a few months ago i was on this farm to install a number of automatic water drinkers you can see the drinkers inside here i'm even pumping water inside this tank over here inside so i'm, I'm going to get inside to show you everything all the details you get to see all the details but is this an ideal broiler farm yeah, we have, um, we have three houses. Yeah, this is the first house over here. And we have another one, a smaller one over here. Attached to the other two houses are brooding places. You can see a kind of covered rooms with window over there. Yeah, that's for brooding. You can use that for brooding and this space should house about 600 plus mature broilers this is the second one this is the first one where we started from and then this is the last one this is as big as the first one yeah this one is partitioned into two sections uh the upper floor because of the level of the land it was done in two layers so the upper floor and the lower floor you can see Inside all of them, we have the automatic drinkers. I'm going to get inside to show you the details shortly. So we also have the processing section. So this other building here is the processing house and the freezing part. We will have the cold room over there. And this part, uh, one part of the house is for processing. The other part of the house is for the cold room. And over here is the holding section where the beds that come from other farms because this farm is going to be processing birds from other farms. So birds that come from other farms will be held here before slaughter. So it's a complete processing line that we have here. Uh, although the processing part of the farm has not been completed, things are still moving real fast, but everything will be in order shortly. So the birds will be coming in, the day old chicks will be coming in and that's the fastest growing chicks the fastest growing breed will be coming in and that's why we have to make sure that this part of the house or this part of the farm is put in order as quickly as possible you can see the feeders are set here these feeders and drinkers may not be used until until they are about one week plus in h but then we need to get everything set remember you don't wait until you are under pressure you have to make sure that everything is set and things are just moving smoothly before the birds even come at all you can see the wood shavings some of the wood shavings are starting to come in that will be spread on the floor and this will be done very quickly once the canopies are set let me show you the canopies that will be used to cover the house once they are set then we'll be getting ready for fumigation okay these are the canopies over here you can see uh though i would have advised i didn't know when they were buying this I would have advised that it was white but thank god uh, it's actually white and black one part of it is white and the other part is black so we're going to be turning the black part inside why this is because of radiation black body radiation actually using the black colored material outside of the house will emit so much heat that is the black will be absorbing the sun the solar radiation inside and that is not what we want because most of the times the weather is actually hotter than the broilers need so what we are trying to do is to reduce the temperature as much as possible that's why we're going to be turning the white part outside so that as the solar radiation is bouncing on the white it's reflecting it back rather than radiating it inside the chicken house all right so this is the tank i'm feeling right now it's even leaking you see this is, these are the things that you need to put in order before things get in full gear so i'm going to try to notify the plumber i don't have any tool here now i would have tried to fix it 
I'm going to try to notify the plumber as quickly as possible. So again, we have three broiler houses. Uh, this particular one that we have is similar in size to the second one, but this third one on the on my left or to my left is the smallest. It's actually going to house about 600 plus broilers to maturity while this one should be able to hold close to 2000 about 1700 or so i can't remember the exact calculation i made some months ago when i was here but in total the whole farm will be taking about 4000 broilers and we are just doing our best to make sure that everything is in order before the chicks come in okay so all the houses are equipped with the hanging feeder like this that can hold about 8 kg of feed per time and the automatic drinkers that makes the work actually super easy you can't imagine having to fetch water inside the manual drinkers and take it inside each of these houses and serve 4,000 broilers that's going to be a lot of work but as it is about say four persons can actually undo the whole farm that is minimizing labor by just upgrading by just embracing cheap technology like i always say workers humans can get lazy they can get tired but this drinker will not get tired and as a matter of fact this drinker is super high quality if you want this you can reach us we can supply you with the drinkers you can see it's not gonna break it's not gonna break you can see it's super strong super durable rubber material so this is so good so look at this storage tank for the water so this is a type of water tank you want to use why because you can easily see the level of water inside here you don't want your worker to come and tell you that it's because there was black tank inside the house and he didn't know the last time he climbed to check there was still water he believed that there was still water and accidentally forgot and water finished and the birds died you don't want that kind of excuse so this with this one your worker can easily see if there is water even from afar so this is a kind of water tank you want to install for safety yeah let's not forget what we are doing we are trying to see if this farm this broiler farm is actually an ideal broiler farm so next we are going to check the spacing between the houses like from this house here to this one over here we have, when I measured it now, it's about 3.5 feet. No, three and a half meters. It's about three and a half meters. So is three and a half meters ideal for the spacing between two broiler houses? If that is it or not, just write in the comment section if it is right or wrong. Three and a half meters we have here. And even between these two houses and this other one over here is still the same three and a half meters. So just put it there. But remember, we are talking about broilers. Uh, the height difference of these birds will most likely be around two weeks for the most part. Sometimes we may even have the same age birds inside the three houses. So, you know, it's different from when you have layers on one end and you have broilers on the other end because the layers will always be older than the broilers, at least for the most part. So you want to put that in consideration. But in all, it's three and a half meters good measurement or good gap good spacing between the two uh between two houses let me know in the comment section okay so another thing we want to check is this food dip yeah we have food dip here let me show you the one that has water inside okay so this is food dip for example if we have chemical inside this this is used to disinfect your legs if you are if you are entering the chicken house you, dis you disinfect your footwear and you step on these stairs and enter. You don't disinfect and then place your leg outside again. No, that's not done. Yeah, and let's take note of this netting used over here. We have double net protection. We have this two by two wire mesh that is used outside to protect the chickens from big uh, predators. And uh, this one, inside the hexagonal net to protect the chickens against smaller predators like birds so that is actually for both uh safety and bulk security you want to make sure that birds don't come in and contaminate the chicken feed so have you ever considered being able to supervise or monitor what is going on on your farm from wherever you are maybe in your office location or wherever you are you see this is cctv cameras 
on the farm you are able to see whatever is going on this is placed at strategic location so everything on the farm can actually be monitored by the owner so this is a very important security feature that you can have on your farm this is all about protecting your investments anyways the weather is so hot here i have to cool off interestingly this is one of the highest open broiler houses that i have seen for example, this space where we have now is about 12 feet high. I mean, the length of the house from the floor level to the roof level is about 12 feet. And don't forget this particular house has two levels, two layers, or will I say layers now? Yeah, it has two levels. This floor here is higher than the other floor here, yet the roof is same height. That makes this other part about 14 feet, 14 feet I, this is so high and it makes for good ventilation and it's going to be a plus for the broilers that will be staying inside here but that also means that installing these drinkers and feeders is not so easy in this kind of house because you have to jump you have to throw ropes you have to do all manner you have to climb this very tall ladder you see and you can see the ropes we had to add more to the ropes you can see the blue joined to this uh, one that came with the feeders and drinkers so that is what you also have to consider but aside all that this is actually going to be to the advantage or to the benefit of the birds and the owner of the farm if you are considering doing something high as this you need to make sure that the skeleton of the structure is very strong for this one it is actually iron poles that were used iron poles yes so this is strong and the issue of the wind blowing and removing the the roof should not be an issue 